It's quite difficult to tell the gender of of any you know small animal or cub from from a distance. So at the moment we think that we have three males and a female, but we're not yet 100% sure we'll be able to tell a bit easier when they're older. In a cheetah social structure, the females are solitary. So basically they only come together with the males purely for mating and then after that the males don't have anything to do with the cubs at all so she raises them all on her own. Well, it's all, the mother will start teaching them, I mean already the, the play behaviour that they have, they are jumping on top of each other and, and running around so immediately they, they're learning. But it takes probably about 18 months before they're actually excellent hunters so in the meantime they just have to keep practicing some of them will be better than others you know just like like anything but that's about the time because they separate from their from their mother after that so they have to be able to be to be sufficient at hunting otherwise they, they won't get any food so by that time they should be fine uh, locally having these cheetahs on the island and uh, rewilding them and having them breed in an in a natural situation and we're not helping the mother at all or or interfering any way i mean that in itself is an amazing thing because you know she's come from this captive situation and now she's looking after her babies extremely well and nobody's shown her how to do that or you know no one's helping her at all so i mean that for for sabanias alone is an amazing thing and also regionally for the oe because i i believe that that this is the only time that that this has been done and then for worldwide, the IUCN cl uh, classifies the cheetah as a vulnerable species. So with any breeding program, if you're increasing the number of animals and you're also um, increasing the gen genetic diversity within captive bred, bred populations, then you are doing you know, good for the whole species. So. Well, that's, it's quite difficult to say because um, depending on if you're looking at in say in Africa or here it will, it will be different because luckily the cheetahs are at the top here so they don't have to worry about lions and you know make other top predators as they would as they would in other areas but still there there, there is a potential danger from from the hyenas or we also have a jackal but I mean to get to get the cubs to this age already is is a, it's a it's a triumph for for Safira to have done that because mortality in captivity and in the wild is very very high so to still have four at seven weeks she's done a good job but I mean until they grow up there's always things that that can happen but uh, hopefully fingers crossed she'll she'll keep them as they are <laughs>